guys, I saw what could possibly be the cutest thing ever, besides the baby race. Um, Very punny. <laughs> <laughs> and the other stuff that I mentioned earlier. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this beekeeper, I guess, you know those cone things where they they uh, fumigate the... Uh, yeah, to make them daisy and yeah, sleepy. Yeah, to make the bees, like, uh, sleepy. Isn't it, isn't it just smoke? Yeah, yeah. slow them down. Slows them, it makes them sleepy and like high. not aggressive. Um, I guess he was doing that and then it sucked. Oh, no, it was the um, honey. Something to do with the honey, like getting the honey out or whatever. And one of the bees got caught in it and got all honey on its wings. And the beekeeper noticed, so he, he put the bee back at the entrance of the beehive. Um, I guess just to see what would happen. And the other bees came to its rescue and there's footage here of them literally cleaning this bee off. So it had honey, its wings were all stuck together and it would, would have died. And there was like more bees and more bees keep joining and they just literally clean him. Apparently they like left him spotless, sparkly wow. clean and saved his life. And they were working on him for about half an hour, it said, or 45 minutes or something crazy. This is actually really interesting to watch. It is. I it know. is. I can't stop watching. Oh, are you watching it? Yeah. It's, it's so... <laughs> And it's I didn't it's know just like a crusty was... bee just becoming uncrusty. Yeah. And like they were saving its life. They literally saved their friend's life. And I didn't know that their mouth things were like that. Well, I kind of knew, but didn't. Wow. Well, like so that... Like little it's... fly things like that. Well, that's, it's interesting that the bees um, like create the honey and they have like no like... Like when honey goes on them, they're effed up. Well, it's because on the wings, yeah. Like, uh, I thought they'd have, like, honey repellent on their wings or something, you know? <laughs> They're like, this has happened before, so we're going to evolve. Sometimes, Gary falls well, into the... F- Gary! It does happen it cleaning each people. other. <laughs> what was that, Maxi? I, I'm not sure it does happen that they that amount of honey, honey falls on them. Yeah. If it doesn't, then that's even more impressive well, that they, like, jump to action like this. Well, it wouldn't mm. usually because the honey is usually stored in the honeycombs and it's not until the, you scrape it out is when it becomes sort of mm. liquefied, right? So w- I doubt this oh. has actually ever happened before. Yeah, but like, like what Alexander's saying, it's like this is more impressive that they know. Yeah, I know. Maybe That's they're insane. just like, maybe they just all like honey and they want to <laughs> honey back. Maybe they're like, oh, bloody Gaza, but I'm maybe hungry. they're not saving his life. <laughs> they, they got, they they're got, just they scavenging. What's going on? They're like... Oh, look at that honey. Bloody b- bee. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, what, two and a half minutes in and this, the left wing's starting to get released. It's quite a... I know, uh, and then it stops. And then it stops. I know. Wow. Because it, it went on for a while, so they couldn't, I guess, do the whole thing. But that was... Roughly about nice half an hour, hour, I think. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <gasps> I think if it was half an hour, I, t- I would actually watch the whole thing. <laughs> like, no just, lie. Just to see the ending. <laughs> yeah. You, I like you said you started watching Ozark. What do you mean you watch the whole thing of this before all these shows on Netflix? What's... <laughs> Are you saying like this is more intriguing I than Ozark? I got 30 minutes away from the kids. You know what I'm going to do? Put my feet up and watch bees get another bee for 30 minutes. Maxie, I mean... you're talking to a girl, right, that said if you were locked in a shopping centre, what would you do? I'd read a book and I'd sit down on a recline. <laughs> Remember when you said that? What would you do if you got locked into a shopping center in Grace Brothers? Um, yeah, I'd like chill out on like their nice beds <laughs> or their <laughs> nice sofas. Point and like just be Emma's very thinking respectful. about this so much more in like a oh no, I've been accidentally locked in, not on like an opportunistic. Yeah, oh, I've been locked yeah. in. Yeah, <laughs> I actually feel like Emma's probably that's probably the most realistic thing you, we would do. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like Emma's, think, Emma's thinking, thinking like if you thing, accidentally I, yeah. Read a book. <laughs> I think I think the rest of us take it as a oh like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So what, what could would you, you do? Get up to? Yeah. But what would you do? We've already discussed this. Oh, if you okay. if you want to know, please look at uh, episode <laughs> uh fifteen. I'll say fifteen, but if I'm wrong, keep going until you find it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it episode been, one? It might have been fourteen. <laughs> it might it might have been one. I thought it was episode one. Was it episode one? 
You're right. Start from one. Yeah. Start from one. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about past episodes. He doesn't know happened in the last episode. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> we started from episode one and I keep watching. <laughs> Shush! Uh, we, we were pretty bad oh, at episode one. Start about episode 15 when yes. uh, we got our mic sorted. Yeah. Oh, so I've, got, I've got a question off the back of the bees. Yeah. Do you think animals, insects, whatever you want, other living creatures... Have any form of consciousness? Yes. When you see things like what do you this? mean? Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. That's a really definitive answer. Yeah. What? I don't even. It's not even a question in my mind. Done. Anyone else? So no, no one else. <laughs> Emma's yeah. like yeah. Everyone, said yes. Everyone else is just like uh. Oh, yeah. CJ said yeah. Yeah, CJ said oh. yeah. Dev, Maxi? I don't know what consciousness is, but I think they have something similar. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but yeah, I think animals do. We have, yeah. we all know about octopuses, right? Is that the we, same we as intuition? Discuss that. Is intuition the same? Is that on the same level as consciousness? Well, if you. Oh, this is a this is a weird place to go now. Yeah. All Dolphins. Right. All right, we'll leave it. When you set them free, like this guy Dolphins. said, he said. I'm set- making some what? very good points yep. there. So I don't know how yep. you can rebuttal this. He said. Just bears. naming animals. No. <laughs> yep. no. Dolphins. He said. Octopuses. Crabs. No. He said. Turtles. I turtle set- He goes, I set. Potatoes. Can I pet that doll? <laughs> Alexander, case closed. <laughs> he said. Next. Oh, thanks. The dolphin no, was trapped, right? He had. Plastic Who's he? It's And <laughs> 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 um, I think guy. you're gonna make a fantastic old woman with Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will too. <laughs> so just randomly say, like, Can I bet that oh. dog? <laughs> Oh, oh. It's no, like talking listen. to someone Alzheimer's now that are like, oh, Emma, go on. So he said, the magical he. said, he... all right, is that no. enough? Are we... No, no I want to tell the story. Season, right? All right, go, go, go. So go. the dolphin had plastic from its neck to its like fin tail thingy. Yeah. And dolphins the guy, the, the diver guy freed him yeah. and it was the baby dolphin. And then the baby dolphin and the mom let it happen. Like she just stayed back. But, you know, that's your baby, right? Yeah. But she stayed back. It's like she kind of knew. And then he let the dolphin, he, he freed the dolphin and the, the dolphin like immediately swam to its mom. But then looked back at the diver and just gave the eyes like, thanks, man. Like the, I'm, the I'm thank the, you eyes. Yeah. He gave the thank you eyes. The diver, the thank you eyes. Yeah. And they both swam off happily. Hmm. Was that were, no. were, when you were watching when you were watching this? Was it in cartoon? <laughs> and did did Pixar Pixar come up before you watched that? Nope. No. <laughs> did this the dolphins? Real? If the dolphins flew up into space, that's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> not, it's, it's not a documentary. No, no, this was real. This was real. Uh, you know me. That was a terrible movie. What Which movie? Mm-hmm. I really liked it personally. <laughs> Is that Guardians of the Galaxy terrible. thingy? Similar? No. Um, no, he just Moss, Moss Def and what's his name from the office, the UK office, oh. and Ali G. Um, Martin, you know, Martin Freeman. Is it Richard Awadi? What was his name? No, Martin no, no, Freeman. No. That's IT crowd. He's the white guy. You know, um, you know when you were saying documentary, Alexander, the Hitchhiker's Guide, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is his podcast. I don't know what podcast it is, but it goes. I was watching this documentary about these people. That go into space in the re- uh, in this rocket and they save the planet by blowing up this uh, uh, asteroid. Right? And they go, "That's not Armageddon. Is not a documentary." Anyways, they continued and they sacrificed themselves. <laughs> it's this ongoing theme that he keeps recalling. Then he films. Aerosmith. Yeah, uh... <laughs> he keeps recalling films and he goes, "I saw this documentary last night." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny.